If you want to create a lean culture in the organisation, usually the starting point is with the senior management team. It's not something you delegate to the HR professionals, it's not something you outsource, it really needs to start with the leaders. So the leaders need to understand what is the culture they're trying to create. And probably the culture you need to create is one of continuous improvement. So the role of the leader is the major culture change agent. So what they need to do is act and behave as if they're trying to create a continuous improvement culture. So their role is to encourage people to take part, to ask questions, to coach people and develop them in their way forward. What they don't do is delegate this to HR or the lean people. It has to start with the senior management team. I suppose some of the more important things that people struggle with is the senior people don't see that culture change is part of their role. They get someone else to do it, they don't focus it on themselves. What they need to do is understand that if I'm the head of engineering or the head of purchasing or the head of marketing, that doesn't mean I'm the smartest engineer or marketeer or, or whatever. It means that they've got to think about how are they going to motivate their people? How are they going to share the strategy? How are they going to make that meaningful? How are they going to engage people? And how are they going to create an environment where people can thrive, have ideas, and have a very positive improvement feel to it? In organisations that I work with, some have a real burning platform. You go in, there's some sort of crisis, maybe the price of the product's gone up or down or the market's changed or, or in the UK environment Brexit's happening or something like that. So there's a real sense of urgency and then it's much easier to galvanise people and, and start making improvement happen. The really smart organisations are those that actually do this when they don't have to, when there is no sense of urgency, when there is no burning platform. So in order to do that, somehow as a senior manager, what you've got to do is create an environment where everyone can be highly focused on going for some goal. So that could be some sort of, let's reach to the moon. It could be, let's achieve halving of the lead time. It could be something like that that might be inspirational. But actually, that's probably thinking about the head, the common sense. What really inspires people is more often a heart statement something that people can get passionate about. So one organisation that I work with, they use the phrase of, we save lives. So they actually create uh, products like airbags and safety belts, but everything they do is about saving lives. So on the wall, next to all the meeting uh, activity and the improvement, what are you doing today to save more lives? So you create a passion, you create an environment where people really want to achieve this goal. So that's one of the tricks. If there isn't a burning platform, make one and get to the heart if you can. Let, let me give you a simple example. So as a senior manager, often what we do is we spend the majority of our time sitting in our own meeting room. Perhaps we invite our colleagues to come and have meetings with us. We sit at the desk, we have conversations, etc. In other words, it's, it's done very remote from where the work is actually happening. So what we encourage is that the senior managers go out to the Gemba, go and talk to people where the work is happening, explain to them in a way that's meaningful what they need to do, why they need to do it, and check their understanding. And then perhaps once a day, they spend half an hour or an hour, depends on the size of the organisation, going round talking to people on a Gemba walk in their actual work environment, asking, what are you trying to achieve in your workspace? How's it going? What's the biggest obstacle that you're trying to overcome? What are you going to do next? And when can I come and talk to you again? And when can I come and talk to you again? It's not next month or six months time, it's tomorrow or the next day. So in other words, the senior people are there developing, encouraging, 
coaching and really getting people to really be highly engaged and actually achieve what they're trying to do and create this continuous improvement culture. So in today's environment, I think there's probably two major imperatives for organisations. The first is this lean agenda in terms of creating an environment where you can get continuous improvement. Maybe you can increase productivity 5, 10, 15, 20% a year. That's absolutely critical to, to make organisations work. I think the, the other important thing is Industry 4.0, which is obviously looking at the more technical side, bringing in AI or robotics or whatever the important uh, technologies are. I don't see these as different. I don't see them as different agendas. They're part of one holistic way of running the organisation. So we need the technology, we need the management and the leadership. So really some of the things that we're starting to do is to bring these two ideas together so that you actually develop the organisation of the future. So the enterprise of the future is by doing lean and the industry of the future is actually by doing the industry 4.0.